This is a tutorial for Concept 15, Skill 12, and we're taking a look at Align Asymmetry. So remember when we dealt with the last skill, Skill 11, we talked about reflections and how there was a mirror image. Well, it's kind of like that on this one here. Align Asymmetry is kind of like a mirror image, because if you take a line of symmetry and you fold right along this, you cut this line right here, you fold right along this this line here, this diagonal of this square, the two halves should match up perfectly, and that would be the line of symmetry. And that's what we're looking for when we're talking about a line of symmetry. So if they ask us to tell whether or tell if a line is a line of symmetry, what we're looking for is does it fold exactly into two equal parts? So for instance, this would have be a line of symmetry because it folds it into two equal parts. If I drew another one that kind of looks the same here, and I draw the line maybe this way, let's say just draw it this way through this side, this would not be a line of symmetry because notice how it doesn't fold it into equal parts. If I went ahead and tried to fold it, this piece would go here, this piece would go up here, and they would not align with one another. So a line of symmetry has to be one in which it will, when we fold it, it'll make it into two equal parts. So then they'll ask, how many lines of symmetry do we have? So if we look at this, well, here we have a triangle, and there's a pattern to these. You can watch for that as you're doing these. So notice how this is an equilateral triangle. It looks to be equilateral, at least. So all the sides and angles are the same. So if I drew a line of symmetry right here, you see how this cuts it into two equal pieces. So you kind of have to ignore the other lines that you see. It, it cuts into these two equal pieces, and we could take this piece and fold it right on top of this one, and they would coincide. Same thing as if we drew the line going this way. You see it goes right through, and we could fold this point on top of this point here, and they would coincide perfectly. Same thing with this line right here, straight up and down that vertical line. Take this point, fold it right over to this point, and they would line up perfectly. So this one has three lines of symmetry. Now notice, for the look for the pattern when we're doing these next few examples here. So we're first going to be looking for whether the uh, image here that we have is a line of symmetry, the line that goes through the image. And so again, you take this and you fold it right back on top of it. And you see how this would fold exactly on top of this piece here. This piece would fold exactly on top of this piece here, same thing over here. So we would say, yes, this line is an axis of symmetry or a line of symmetry. This one, it looks like it does as well, as long as it's going through the center if we go ahead and fold right along there, this half circle here is going to fold up perfectly on top of this half circle. So we would say yes here as well. However, this one is a little dif different. See, this image is not the same size as this one. So if I folded it over, this point here would probably only make it to here. It would not make it all the way. So this is not a line of symmetry. So now we got to do the tough part. we got to figure out how many lines of symmetry we can end up drawing. And so notice this is not a, not a figure that's regular. It's not a regular polygon. It looks like a kite. And so it looks like maybe this side is the same as this side. This side is the same as this side. And then probably these angles are the same. And probably these angles, well, they might be the same there. Probably, actually, no, they don't look it. But these do. These two do look the same. So... If we go ahead and if I fold it right here, notice definitely that would not be a line of symmetry because this triangle is not the same as this one. So let's go ahead and undo that. And let's fold it along this other axis here. Let's go this way. See, this would be a line of symmetry because when I go ahead and take this piece, it folds perfectly on top of this one. So this one has one line of symmetry. Well, looking at this one, this is an equal. La this is a a regular hexagon. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So it looks regular because it looks like all the sides are the same and all the angles are the same too. So let's take a look at how many lines of symmetry we can go ahead and make. So if I go ahead and split it right down here, you see this side will fit perfectly on top of this one. Well, if we go ahead and change the color here. And we go ahead and split it right here. See, now this side would fit perfectly on top of that one. So now we have two lines of symmetry. So let's try another one here. 
And so, go ahead and go this way. So again, these would fit perfectly on each other. So that would be another line of symmetry. And so we have some others, though, as well. So now we've hit all the corners. Let's split the sides into two equal pieces. So let's go ahead and split it right here. So let's go right along here, going right through the center there. See, if I do that, see this piece here would fit perfectly on top of it, as long as I'm kind of right in the center between these two. So let's try another one here. So if I go ahead and do the same thing on this one, cut this line, that side right in the middle, go right through the center, and then down here and split this into two equal pieces. So you see this side here would fold perfectly on top of that one. It looks like I'll have one more here, so I'll try to find another color. And we'll go this way. So again, splitting this right in the middle. So get it right in the middle and going through the center. Didn't do a good job drawing that, so let me try changing that. Let's try it once more. Go right through the center and through the center of this line here. And that would be another one because you see I could fold it right on top. So it looks like that is six lines. Six lines of symmetry. And over here on this one, if we take a look at it, we could do the corners again. So we can cut it right down here. And you can definitely see how this would fit perfectly on top. And we'll try another one here. We'll do the corners once more. So again, this would fit. This piece right here would fit perfectly here. So that's two lines of symmetry. And now we'll do the same thing we did here. So notice how we cut the angles. Well, now we're going to cut the sides that are the same. So we're going to cut it right here. So that's one, or another one along the sides at least. And then we've got one more we can do right here. That's another. So it looks like this one has four lines of symmetry. So something you should look for. Remember we had. Uh, we had regular figures, we had regular polygons, we had an equilateral triangle, here we have a square, and here we have a regular hexagon. Hexagon has six sides. We were able to cut it into six lines of symmetry. Cut it by the angles, and cut it by the sides. And same thing with the square. We were able to cut that four-sided figure into four lines of symmetry. Two through the angles, and two through the sides. Same thing with the triangle as well. However, the triangle and just three sides that we uh, because they three lines of symmetry because it has three sides. So that's the tutorial for concept uh, 14 skill 12.